Okay, guys, so I'm sorry I can't be there today. Uh, I do feel it's important though to keep, keep pushing on with the course. So today we're going to look at logs. Okay, logs is the short for logarithms. And before I get stuck into logs, I'm just going to explain it, I, I suppose, to you as to why we have logs. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is um, I suppose the great thing about maths is you can look at the same thing from from different angles and it will tell you more about that thing. So let's just take a coin. So I suppose to describe it in a maths term, well if I look at the front of the coin, this stage was an English coin, but I look at the front of it, I would see the, the, the Queen's face, so I would know it's English. But I would have to turn it around to see the 5p on it to get to get the full image of, of the whole kind to see what it was so just like in maths if there's an object or something I can look at it one way to get a certain information from and then I can look at it another way to get more information so if we look at this equation and this equation says 3 multiplied by 4 equals a number okay so I could just multiply the 3 by the 4 and I would realize the number is 12 but I could look at it a different way, an inverse way or an opposite way. I could say that 3 multiplied by a number is 12. So up here it was 3 multiplied by 4 is a number. But I could look at that same equation in a different way. I could say 3 multiplied by a number is 12. And you would use your powers of algebra or division and you would get that to be 4. Okay? Right. So far so good. Okay. So now I am going to look at... An imaginary machine I have a doubling machine okay so this machine starts out with two people and then it doubles them against a four so watch this I start out with two people and then I there it is two to the power of one and then I double it so it'll be two to the power of two which is four and then I'll double that which will be two to the power of Three, which is eight, and then if I double that two to the power of four, we get to sixteen, and if I double that, which is two to the power of five, I get thirty-two. Okay, so that there is my indices. Two to the power of five is thirty-two. So I suppose what I'm saying is two multiplied by itself five times is thirty-two, or another way of saying it, two doubled. 5 times is 32. But another way of looking at it is with um, logarithms or logs. And we just write it this way. Log 2 base 32. Okay? Okay. So, we'll go back again. So, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Now, how we say this? Log 32 to the base 2 is 5. These two are the same, just written in a different way. This is saying 2 multiplied by itself 5 times is 32. This, again, the, the way we would say it is, the log of 32 to the base 2 is 5. But what that's really saying is 2 has to be multiplied by itself how many times? Five times to get to 32. Okay, so watch this. Let's say the log 2 16. Now, for us to solve that, the log 16 to the base 2 is what? So, this is how I look at it. And what do I have to multiply? Or, sorry, how many times do I have to multiply 2 by itself to get 16? Okay, well, that would be the same as saying 2 to the power of what will give me 16. Okay, and the answer is 4. 2 multiplied by 4 times is 16. Therefore, log um, 16 to the base 2 is 4. So these are the same, okay? But the way we read this is what how many times, sorry, how many times do I have to multiply 2 by itself to get to 16? The answer is 4. Okay, we'll do one more. Um, say log 3 to 9. Well, how 
many times do I have to multiply 3 by itself to get to 9? Well, 3 squared is 9. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. This really allows us, um, it's in our log books, right? It's on page 21. It allows us to shift from indices no, notation to log notation. Okay, it's on page 21. But if we have, and we, we're doing it here the whole time, look, we're shifting from one to the other. So, for instance, this says a to the x equals y. Okay, I'm going to give an example here. Um, let's say 4 squared equals 16. Okay. Now that is the same as log a y equals x. Uh, let's see now, just bear basing it on this. Uh, we have log, now a was 4, y was 16, equals, and then x is 2. Okay, so this one reads 4 squared is 16. This reads log of 16 to the base 4 is 2. What that means is we have to multiply 4 by itself twice to get to 16. Okay. All right. So that's, um, I don't know, maybe interesting enough, but, but why would you bother? Why would we bother using logs? when we can just use indices. I mean, why would I bother, why would I bother going log two? Why would I bother writing that out? Okay, now the answer is four. Okay, if I type that into the calculator, I get four. But why would I bother doing that when I can just say, sure, look, two to the power of one is two, two to the power of two is um, four, two to the power of three, is a2 to the power of 4 16 so just by trial and error i can get it so why would i bother doing all this when i can just do this well in simple versions like this that's no problem a bit of trial and error will get us the answer but what if i had something like this 7 to the power of something gives me 3 5 4 3 3 3 1 3 6 0 oh, 9 9 I mean, I'm doing a lot of trial and error to get this. I, I really, I, I could put in one there to be seven. I could put in ten there. I could put in ten point four. I could put in nine point three. I, I'm going to be here. I could be here forever trying to figure out what the answer is. Okay, but if we set it up as a log, we can type it straight into a calculator and give the answer. So watch. I could say the log. 7, sorry, the log of 3, 5, 4, 3, 5, 3, 3, 1, 3, 6, 0, 9, 9. So, this is the way I would say this, the log of 3, 5, um, 4, 3, 5, 3, 3, 1, 3, 6, 0, 9, 9, to the base 7 equals, now I can type that into a calculator, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, the next day but um my answer will be i've just done a calculator there and my answer will be 4.2 okay so basically what i'm saying is 7 to the power of 4.2 equals this okay so but again what what use has that for us well let's bring you back to third year hopefully you remember this if you remember um, compound interest, okay, so the final amount equals the principal multiplied by the in, uh, one plus the interest over the time. Okay, so in this situation, I have two hundred euros, and I'm going to invest it for three years at twelve percent, and I want to find the final amount. That would be no problem. Type this into the calculator; it'll give me my final amount. No problem. Sometimes then they would give me the final amount. They would give me the principal, the, the, the original amount of money. They would give me the time, the amount of years it's invested for, and they would ask me to work out and find the interest. And again, we could do that, okay, no problem at all, um, just by a bit of algebra. Problem is, and you haven't done this at junior cert because you wouldn't have learned about logs, but if our unknown is the time, then we have the issue, okay? 
um, just for instance, I, I'm going to do this for you, okay? We do this, we show there's no problem. Then we see the problem with this. Okay, so here we go. 2, 4, this is 0 divided by 200 equals uh, 1 plus the interest 3. Okay, so I'm just going to do it down here. Alright, so we have 2, 4, 0 over 200, which the answer is 1 pint. Um, let me see what I got in the calculator. 1.2 equals 1 plus i to the power of 3. And if I use my algebra, okay, if I cube root this side, it's going to get rid of the power of 3. I must cube root the other side. So if I cube root this side, I'll just be left with 1 plus i. I cube the other side, we'll do it on the calculator. Okay, so um, it's 1.062. Okay, so I have 1.062 equals 1 plus i. So if I minus 1 from this side and this side, I get 0 0.062 equals the interest. If I change that to a percentage, it'll be 6.2% interest. Okay, so that was no problem. Here lies the problem. Let's do it, okay? So, we still have our 2400, we have our 200, we have our 1 plus, now 4% is going to be 0 0.04 as a decimal, and then we have our time. So far, I don't think you're going to see a problem. We'll just do a bit of algebra, fair enough. So, we have our 240 over 200. We is 1 plus 0 0.04 time okay and that was 1.2 equals 1 plus 0 0.04 time okay now um well first things first we we can't just start bringing these things over because they're like there, there's an indices there, and remember brackets. Okay, let's do the brackets. Well, one plus zero and zero four is one point zero four. See, but but now what do we do? Because we can't deal with this until we've dealt with the the power up here. Remember brackets. Okay, we've done it. Indices. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So we have to deal with this indices first. But, but how do we do it? Like, like over here, we, we knew it was the cube root. But what am I going to do here? I don't know what it is. Okay, so that there lies the problem. Later on, the end of this chapter, and, and especially for financial maths, you will know how to deal with this. And we just do a very simple, I suppose we look at it a different way. Okay, just like the coin. We look at it a different way to solve it. It's very easy. Okay? But that's why use these logs. So last thing that's just a few short questions and, and you can be on your way then. So what I'd like you to do for tomorrow is page 255 question 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? I'm going to do some of them here. All right? So you could do this in the calculator if you want. Um, the log of 4 to the base 2. So what am I saying here? Well what do I have to or how many times do I multiply 2 by itself to get to 4? Well, it's that. Okay, so next one. Well, log of 16 to the base 8 is what? Or another way of looking at it, how many times do I have to multiply 8 by itself to get to 16? Okay. So if you want to rearrange this, okay, just to make it a bit easier, if you want to rearrange this as 8 to the power of what? Give me 16. Now I'm going to show you how to do this very simply on the calculator, but for now I just want you to use to rearrange it like that, and to do a bit of trial and error. Well, 8 to the power of 1 is going to be 8. 8 to the power of 2 is going to be 64. So it's going to lie between 1 and 2, okay? So it could be a half. So try 8 to the power of a half, see what that will give you. Try 8 to the power of 3, 2 thirds, see what that will give you. Hint, hint, 2 thirds, okay? Um, next one. So here we have log of x to the power of 8 is 2. 
So what's that saying? Well, here's what it's saying. Um, a num eight multiplied by itself twice gives us what number? Okay, remember. 8 multiplied by itself twice gives us what number? We could rearrange it with indices. This is what I would do. And I would say 8 squared gives me what number? And 8 squared gives me 64. Okay. And the very last one. So it's saying what number squared gives me 2? Okay, and again, like... This takes a while to get used to, okay? But you just have to remember it's um, if we're looking at log of two to the eight, okay? Well, I know just just from looking at it a long time and you know out of years, I know straight away that's three. But the way you have to think is just get this in your head: how many times do I have to multiply two by itself to get to eight? Three times. If you typed that into the calculator, it would give you three anyway. But just get used to going from here in log function to indices function okay you're just changing it around so this one what number do I have to multiply by itself twice or square squared so what number squared gives me two now let's see what number squared gives me two so we're looking for that number what number squared gives you two okay let me think well would the square root of 2 squared give me 2? Okay, so so root 2 squared gives me, gives me 2. So what's this? Well, this is log of root 2, I'm sorry, log of 2 to the base root 2 equals 2. Okay, I hope that um, helped you. I suppose try questions one, two, three, and four. And don't worry, I'm expecting you to get stuck. Um, tomorrow we'll correct it, and after you getting stuck on them, and after you, I suppose, wrecking your brain to try and solve these, it'll make a lot more sense. Um, Tuesday when I get back and we correct it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, lads.